The National Verify team has been answering viewer questions about Project 2025. I've seen your questions here locally. Ariane Daytil looks into claims that this plan calls for eliminating gay marriage. Gay marriage became legal in the U.S. nearly 10 years ago when the Supreme Court ruled in Oberfeld v. Hodges that it was unconstitutional for a state to deny a same-sex couple the right to marry. Some Verify viewers, including Susan, asked if Project 2025 aims to change that. So let's verify. Does Project 2025 call for eliminating gay marriage? These are our sources. Project 2025, the Heritage Foundation's plan to transform the government in favor of conservative social policies and ideals, is outlined in a 922-page book called Mandate for Leadership, The Conservative Promise. Verify went through the proposal. It does not include any plans to eliminate gay marriage. However, several of the chapters include proposals that favor heterosexual couples over gay couples, or otherwise are anti-LGBTQ+. In the chapter on the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, it says healthy marriage and relationship education grants, which provide federal funding for relationship counseling to school and community groups, should be given to organizations that exclusively promote heterosexual relationships. Accountable.us, a nonpartisan research organization that investigates the influence of special interest groups on government policy, says Project 2025 also includes other policies that are anti-LGBTQ+, including limiting the application of sex discrimination protections for LGBTQ plus people, having the Department of Justice defend religious freedom rights over the rights of LGBTQ plus people in discrimination cases, and rolling back some federal LGBTQ plus equity programs. So we can verify, no, Project 2025 does not propose eliminating gay marriage. However, it does propose policies that roll back protections for LGBTQ plus people or favor heterosexual marriage over gay marriage. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Till.